Besides being known as a famous Hollywood movie star, Leonardo DiCaprio is a powerful man who has made a lot of money during his career. But have you ever stopped to wonder about just how this celebrity lives? In this video, you will find out what Leonardo DiCaprio's luxurious life is like. Before we get started, I challenge you. You have to click on subscribe and activate notifications check the option all. But you have to do that in less than 5 seconds, you got it? And if you can, write in the comments hashtag all about subscribe. Alright, let's get started. Career Born in 1974 in the city of Los Angeles in the state of California, Leonardo Wilhelm DiCaprio, known simply as Leonardo DiCaprio, is a famous Hollywood film actor. Ever since he was a child, he had always enjoyed the artistic world, and as such he started to work in TV commercials. But not everything was easy. At first, he had a hard time finding work, until in the 90s he got his first relevant role in the series Parenthood. From then on, the opportunities began to show up, and he took advantage of this to act in several other jobs. Until 1997, when the huge success of the movie Titanic made Leonardo DiCaprio's career take off and he became a world-renowned actor. During his career, he also starred in other great films that were very successful, such as Romeo and Juliet, Catch Me If You Can, The Aviator, The Departed, Inception, The Wolf of Wall, The Revenant, among many others. And it is for all this that he has received several important awards, such as an Oscar, a BAFTA, a SAG Award, and three Golden Globes. And it is no wonder that he has been placed eight times in the annual ranking of the world's best paid actors, and can now enjoy a super luxurious life thanks to his spectacular work. Mansions in Los Angeles When it comes to investing in a good place to live, Leonardo DiCaprio doesn't skimp, especially when we are talking about Los Angeles. One of his properties, for example, is a Spanish-style residence located in Silver Lake that is just over 3,500 square feet in size, with four bedrooms and four stunning bathrooms. Leonardo DiCaprio bought the house for 608,000 pounds, however decided to list it for sale in 2018 for about $1,700,000. Another property he had was a residence on Red Oak Drive, which has an old architecture and was recently renovated. The property that was built in 1926 is 4,600 square feet and has a clean style and beautiful wood floors. The main living room has high ceilings that give the place a greater sense of spaciousness and also has a large fireplace and custom seating for the residents' comfort. The kitchen, meanwhile, features state-of-the-art appliances, as well as a chef's island in the center and a dining area near the French doors that lead outside. The place also has a formal dining room with a beautiful fireplace, a media room with bookshelves built into the walls, a home office, a gym area, and a guest room. In addition, the residence has eight bathrooms and five luxurious bedrooms, which have unique features to welcome residents in great comfort. One of the suites, for example, has beautiful French windows, a fireplace with plaster moldings, and a private bathroom. Another suite has wood paneling that adds to the charm of the decor and also features beautiful glass windows, a rustic designed walk-in closet, and a stunning private bathroom that includes double sinks and a relaxing bathtub. Outside, there is a sitting area near the trees, a balcony dining setting, and a large patio for relaxing and recreation, where there is also a luxury pool with separate spa. According to some sources, Leonardo DiCaprio sold this property in 2022 for $4,900,000, despite initially asking for $5,750,000. Another property the actor owns in Los Angeles is a two-story, Spanish colonial-style house located in Los Feliz that he purchased for his mother. The house dating from the 1920s is over 4,900 square feet and has beautiful Renaissance architecture that makes every aspect of this property unique. The main entrance has a beautiful staircase, while the living room has a ceiling with high wooden beams, and the house has another more formal room for receiving guests, which stands out for its period decoration. The kitchen is very spacious, with classic blue cabinetry, a sophisticated wooden island, and stainless steel appliances, integrating a breakfast area. There's also a dining area with a custom wood ceiling, while the movie room is ideal for relaxing and entertaining. 
The place also includes other amenities, such as a gym, a very elegant office, and five luxurious bathrooms. In total, there are four rooms of different designs in the residence. In the case of the master suite, you can see that it is very spacious, integrating a room with double sinks and a refined dressing table, as well as a clean bathroom and two closets for storing all kinds of items. Heading outside, the half-acre property is surrounded by natural landscaping and features a terrace seating area with incredible views at your disposal. There are also other living areas where you can gather on a daily basis, plus there is a patio with a large pool to relax in, which includes a small house with a seating area, an additional bathroom and deck with outdoor fireplace. According to some sources, this residence belonged to actor Jesse Tyler Ferguson until Leonardo DiCaprio bought it for $7,100,000. The star's most relevant estate in Los Angeles, meanwhile, is in the Bird Streets neighborhood in the Hollywood Hills and is 4,500 square feet in size. The house was bought in 1994 for $4 million until the actor bought another one next door, which once belonged to Madonna, for $2 million. And more recently, he bought another property from his neighbors for $10 million. Cars When it comes to riding around in nice vehicles, Leonardo DiCaprio is an actor who prefers hybrid and electric cars, this is because he is an environmental activist who cares about preserving the environment. Starting with the cheapest, he has already been spotted driving a Toyota Prius, a car with a modern design that is considered one of the cheapest electric vehicles on the market, with the price around $32,000. Upping the ante, he has also been seen getting into a Polestar 2, another even more modern 100% electric vehicle, which can cost upwards of $50,000 for a brand new model. Going up in price, Leonardo DiCaprio has already been seen driving an Audi Q8, a sophisticated SUV from the German automaker, whose newer vehicles can top $75,000. The actor has also been seen driving a Volvo XC90 T8 Hybrid, another very comfortable SUV, that is ideal for everyday use. And it is no wonder that its price can reach over $80,000. The actor also owns a Range Rover Vogue, and it has been even reported in the media that he had an accident hitting another smaller car, but luckily no one was hurt. The vehicle the actor was driving is a very versatile SUV, which depending on the year and model, can cost around $95,000. In the same price range, Leonardo also owns a Tesla Model S, a super technological car full of digital facilities, besides having a huge range, being able to travel up to 405 miles with a single battery charge. And maybe that is why this dream car of many people is valued at $100,000. Another beautiful car that the actor has been seen using was a Fisker Karma Hybrid, a beautiful vehicle equipped with a powerful engine, whose price can reach over $110,000. He has also been spotted with his Porsche Cayenne Hybrid, a rugged SUV that is not only comfortable and stylish, but also equipped with a beautiful engine, capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.9 seconds and reaching a top speed of 150 miles per hour. And that is why the newer models can exceed $135,000. And on the internet, there is a lot of speculation that Leonardo DiCaprio's car is a Tesla Roadster, an electric super sports car that is considered one of the fastest in the world, being able to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in an unbelievable 1.9 seconds, reaching a top speed of 250 miles per hour. And it is no wonder that its price exceeds the $200,000 mark. Relationships Besides being considered a Hollywood movie star, outside the cinema screen, Leonardo DiCaprio is also a handsome man who has had a lot of relationships with beautiful women. It is speculated that he has been involved with several beautiful women, such as Bridget Hall, Claire Danes, Kristen Zong, Amber Valletta, Helena Christensen, Liv Tyler, Naomi Campbell, Eva Herzegova, Virginie Lou Doyen, Giselle Bunchen. Bar Raffaele, and Violetsina, Blake Lively, Aaron Hetherton, Tony Garn, Kelly Rohrbach, Nina Agdal, Camila Morone, in addition to several other relationships that never came to light. Mansions in Malibu Like most Hollywood celebrities, Leonardo DiCaprio also likes to buy real estate near the beaches of Malibu. 
He has, for example, owned a very sophisticated beach bungalow that has incredible views of the Pacific Ocean and a private beach to relax on. Built in 1950, the house is about 1,700 square feet and has graceful aspects, making this the perfect place to enjoy the vacations with great tranquility. Among its most relevant areas are the living room, a dining area for eight people, and a kitchen with good utensils for preparing meals on a daily basis. The place also has a family room equipped with a modern TV, a casual dining area, and two full bathrooms. The house also features three bedrooms of unique styles, with the master suite having a small sitting room and sliding glass doors leading to a lovely deck, as well as having a luxurious bathroom. The place also has a larger deck facing the beach, which offers incredible views of the sea, where you can rest sunbathing on the deck chairs or relax in the hot tub. According to media reports, the actor sold this prime location property for $10,300,000 in 2021, although he had initially listed the house for $11 million. Leonardo DiCaprio has also had another residence in the city, this time on Malibu Colony Road, which has 2,600 square feet of floor area, as well as six bathrooms and six charming bedrooms. The property was purchased by the actor for $6 million in 2002, until he sold it for an incredible $17,350,000. Upping the price, Leonardo DiCaprio also owns a 1.7-acre plot of land near the ocean in Paradise Cove, where there is only a small cottage. The property belonged to Ridley Scott, but Leonardo bought it to build a new mansion, allegedly paying $23 million. The actor is also believed to have had another home that was sold in 2009 for $7,400,000, and in 2021, he purchased a mansion in a private area for $13,800,000. Excessive Luxuries A celebrity as wealthy as Leonardo DiCaprio has more than enough money to enjoy an extremely luxurious life. When it comes to dressing well, for example, he has been seen with beautiful watches, such as a $5,000 tag Hoyer Carrera, a $9,000 tag Hoyer Monaco, a $8,000 Breitling Chrono Avenger, a $11,000 tag Hoyer Professional 1000 from, and even a $180,000 Patek Philippe Nautilus. And those who know Leonardo DiCaprio know that he is passionate about art, and it is no wonder that it is speculated that he has spent a real fortune on exclusive pieces, such as a $38,000 painting by Jean-Pierre Roy, a $100,000 guitar by singer Bono, $600,000 on the original piano from the 1942 movie Casablanca, and even an unbelievable $3 million on the original shoes from the 1939 movie The Wizard of Oz. Leonardo DiCaprio has been seen several times with his girlfriends aboard super yachts. One of the boats he has been seen using was the one known as Vava 2, a 315 feet long superyacht, capable of impressing anyone by its size. And as reported in the media, the yacht is valued at around 110 million pounds, and to rent it for a week, it is estimated that it costs around $700,000. But it is speculated that the most luxurious yacht the actor ever used was the one known as Topaz, a yacht owned by Sheikh Mansour, who owns the Manchester City soccer team. The superyacht is 482 feet long and valued at around $400 million, which must have probably cost a few million dollars to rent it. Other Real Estate Leonardo DiCaprio is an actor who loves to buy and sell luxury properties and owns an extensive and luxurious real estate portfolio. His properties include, for example, a charming house in one of the most sought-after areas of the city of Palm Springs, California. Built in the mid-century, the actor's home is over 7,000 square feet in area and has a total of six bedrooms, along with eight stunning bathrooms and many other amenities. After buying it, Leonardo DiCaprio made it go through a series of renovations to make the place even more luxurious. Today it is possible to stay in the house by paying up to $4,500 per night, and the actor purchased the property in 2014 for $5,320,000. The actor doesn't turn his back to nice apartments either. One of the buildings he has lived in is located in New York City's Greenwich Village. The luxury unit has three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms, and the actor sold it in 2016 for $8 million, despite having initially bought it for $10 million. Another apartment that Leonardo DiCaprio owns is two units that have been combined at Two River Terrace. 
Although there are no records of the units, it is known that the place has 4,900 square feet of total area and that the star made two transactions to acquire the apartments, totaling an expense of $11,700,000. Leonardo DiCaprio also owns a 104-acre island paradise in Belize, known as Blackador K. The actor bought the island in 2005 for the princely sum of $1,750,000 and in recent years has begun a project to build an eco-resort on the site, as well as villas that are 100% powered by renewable energy, and it is believed that the price for these properties will be in between $5 million to $15 million each. And because he owns so much real estate, the actor's real estate empire is estimated to be worth $60 million. Business to multiply his wealth even more, Leonardo DiCaprio is a businessman who likes to invest his money. For example, he has his own production company, Appian Way Productions, which has released several famous films, such as Orphan, Shutter Island, The Revenant, The Wolf of Wall Street, among many others. Another big source of Leonardo's income comes through his image, because he is a celebrity who has made commercials for many companies, such as the Jim Beam beverage brand, the famous Tag Heuer watches, the Japanese carmaker Suzuki, the Chinese carmaker BYD Company, the Italian carmaker Fiat, the phone brand Oppo, among many others. Something of a bet of DiCaprio's is his investments in technology companies in a range of different sectors, such as Mind Maze, Love the Wild, Clue, Diamond Foundry, Rubicon, Casper, Suja Life, among many others. The actor's goal is for these startups to appreciate in value and perhaps be worth billions of dollars in the future. With all this, we can say that besides being an actor, Leonardo DiCaprio is also a businessman. Net worth With such a brilliant and successful career, it is a fact that Leonardo DiCaprio has already accumulated a lot of money during all these years. The amount he received for each performance grew as his films became more successful and his name became more and more known in Hollywood. To get an idea of the figures here, it is estimated at the beginning of his career, he received about $75,000 for Gilbert Grape, $150,000 for The Quick and the Dead, $1 million for The Basketball Diaries, and up to $2,500,000 as a fixed paycheck for Titanic, a film that was so commercially successful that a small percentage of the profits made him up to $40 million. From that point on, Leonardo DiCaprio's fee grew exponentially, with him receiving $10 million for Gangs of New York, $20 million for Catch Me If You Can, $20 million for The Aviator, $25 million for The Wolf of Wall, $30 million for Don't Look Up, and an unbelievable $59 million for Inception, because his contract also gave him a good percentage of the profits. And all this gigantic salary is just a reflection of all the box office success that their movies make. To give you an idea, if you add up all the box office earnings from all the films in which DiCaprio has played a role in, they are estimated to have made over $7 billion at the worldwide box office, which justifies him getting a slice of all that money. And even though nobody knows exactly how wealthy DiCaprio is, according to some sources, Leonardo DiCaprio's net worth is estimated to be around $300 million. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.